Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a pretty cool but obscure function called the re repeat function. Actually it's spelled R-E-P-T. And what this does is it'll repeat a, a certain piece of uh, text or number a certain number of times. Okay, And you might think, uh, why would I want this? If I wanted, let's say, A repeated two times, I could just type A twice. And if I want B three times, I can just type it three times. Well, it kind of uh, becomes useful sometimes maybe if you want to see uh, like the distribution of grades in your class. Let's say these are the grades and this is the frequency in your class, okay? And you're some kind of you're some kind of professor or something and you're interested in knowing uh, the distribution in your grades. You can make a pie chart, you can highlight this, you can go insert pie chart and boom, you got a nice distribution of your grades. You can also insert a Column chart would also be actually um, useful here. Bar chart would be very close to what we're going to end up doing. And let's get rid of these legends. Okay. But there's one other option that maybe you didn't know about. And it's quite quicker, and sometimes might maybe it will be actually more useful for you. Okay. So here you can go into this cell to the right and next to the row that represents the frequency of A grades you can type the repeat function that's equals REPT click on B A and then that's the that's what the text you want to repeat and the number of times you repeat it is one repeated is the frequency hit enter and you get A twice now if I drag this down I get, I'll get B three times right and then if I drag it down, I'll get C 44 times. And if I drag it down, I'll get D 22 times. And finally, F 13 times. Now look at that. It looks kind of like this column chart. Actually, let me rearrange the order of the letters here so that you can see it looks exactly like the column chart. Select data. And let's see if we can get this to give us in this order instead of the order it's giving us here format axis let's say axis spec categories in reverse order okay and now look how closely this bar graph mimics our repeat function results up there right we have a is the shortest bar, B the second, C by far the biggest, and D the second biggest, F and the third. And it looks exactly the same as the repeat, what the repeat function gave us. Now you might think of some crafty way to make use of this. It is not totally obscure. I've seen it used in some practical application, but also it might also be a good way if you have a bunch of, of data going this text going this way and something that represents the relativity the size or something like that or the frequency would be ideal of this column then you can apply a quick uh, f uh, formula a way of measuring the differences in relative size here we see right away we're able to see boom this C 44 pops out to us okay and this might be something we want to address all right and either way, it's just another tool to have in your toolbox of Excel functions. And you'll find use for it one day. All right? So till next time, watch my other Excel tutorial videos, access PowerPoint, math, statistics, R, and much more on my channel, Jalayer Academy. Subscribe and make sure to click on our sponsors' ads. They keep these videos free and fun. Till next time, have a great day.